All right, guys, go ahead and open up Cinema 4D, and we're going to bring a sphere into our scene just like this. Let's make some changes to it. 100 centimeters is fine, but change your segments down to 8. Then change your type to hexahedron. The next thing we want to do is make this editable. So you can either type C on your keyboard or click this little button on the left to make it editable. And then make sure your polygons are selected here so we can edit these. Control A on your keyboard is going to select all of these polygons. And then you're going to want to right click and uh, click extrude enter and then drag your mouse over to the left. And what that's gonna do is make these shapes a lot smaller. We're gonna do it about right there. And then you're gonna right click again and then do extrude and now drag your mouse to the right and bring all of these little uh, tentacles out this way. Now what you wanna do is right click again, make sure it's on extrude and then bring these tentacles out just a little bit this time and then right click and let's do normal scale and then drag to the right with your mouse and that's gonna make the, the ends of these a lot wider. So just gonna make them wider, kind of like that. And then right click and do extrude again and we're gonna bring them out uh, just a little bit, kind of like that. This is what our virus looks like so far. It's very blocky, um, but that's okay because what we'll do is get a subdivision surface up here, put our sphere into it. And now this is what we have uh, it looks like so far. If you want to uh, go ahead and make these uh, endpoints a little bit wider, you can always right click and do normal scale again and just drag to the right with your mouse. And that's going to make those endpoints uh, as wide as you want them to be. The next thing we want to do is add a material to this so it looks a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to, before I start adding my material, I'm going to do a render. Uh, sampling. So go ahead and do um, Alt-R on your keyboard. And what this is going to do, it's going to uh, show you what the render is going to look like. So as we add a material, we can see the effects in real time. Go down here to your bottom and uh, double click to add a new material. And we'll just go ahead and drag that right up to our subdivision surface. And then double click this material and we can start editing uh, the different segments in here. First thing we want to do is go ahead and click off your color. We don't want color in here. And uh, we want to start off with our luminance. So go ahead and click on your luminance. And then we're going to go down to our texture and then we're going to add a layer. So click on layer right there. And then we can begin adding multiple textures uh, onto our luminance channel. Double click right here in this black spot. And then we have an option where we can add multiple shaders. So let's go ahead and click our first shader and it's gonna be a Fresnel. And then what we're going to do, instead of a black to a white, which is default, we're gonna change it from a black to like a really vibrant blue. And that's up to you what color you want to do, but some kind of vibrant blue will be fine. Then let's go back. Now let's add another um, shader, go to color. And then this time we're gonna get a dark uh, blue, but it's not it's not black, but it's very very dark blue. Again, that's it's up to you what color you want to do, but a dark blue, and then change this uh, blend mode over here to add, and then finally we're going to add one more shader, and it's going to be another Fresnel, uh, and this one's black to white, which is fine. That's default. Change that to multiply, and that's going to be all the luminance you do. The next step will be our displacement. All right, now we want to add some displacement to this uh, virus. But before we do that, let's go ahead and add a light. Go up here to your top, click on your light bulb, and uh, that's going to add a light to the scene. And that's going to help show all of the, uh, the ridges and the shadows on our displacement. Now, click on your displacement, check mark right here. And then we're going to add some texture for our displacement. So just go ahead and click that and uh, change this to noise. And we want to make sure the strength is 100, but the height is only one centimeter. Now, the noise that I have selected is uh, electric. So just click on electric here. And then we're going to change our global scale down to 50% like that. Now let's go back and let's add a sub polygon displacement. Click that and then make sure it's on four uh, for your level. All right, one more step before we go to our render settings. Let's go ahead and click on this noise again. And uh, we want to change our animation speed from zero to one. If you want to see what that looks like, uh, just go to uh, this noise up here, right click that and change it to animate. And you can see what it'll look like in your rendered out movie. Now, make sure before we render, make sure that you have enough frames. I've got it at 150. 
uh, but you can put it as many frames as you want, as long as the movie you want it to be. Uh, click on your rendered settings up here, and we just want to make sure that your format that you save it as is either MP4, or AVI, or WMV, whichever movie you want, and then make sure your output uh, is in the right width and height. And so if you want to do a, a full uh, resolution HD movie, make sure you adjust those settings. But let's go ahead and uh, render this out for a few seconds at a high resolution, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. All right, guys, let's see how this thing rendered out. And I'm going to go ahead and click play on here. And uh, this is what it's going to look like in the final render. So you can see how I've got it. Uh, the camera is actually dollying out. So I, I didn't cover that in the tutorial, but uh, I think that's a really uh, cool effect that we can add to this image. Uh, but you can see all of these really cool little um, undulations going on inside of the, uh, the virus here. And they're just kind of moving uh, all around the uh, the surface there, and uh, I think this is a really cool effect. Guys, this is my very first Cinema 4D tutorial, and uh, so I know it might have been a little sloppy, a little bit confusing, uh, but it's a really fun program, and I hope that you are able to, uh, to take these tools that I showed you and create something really cool as well. But guys, until next time, happy creating, and I'll check you out again at the next tutorial.